are you? Hopes you are good. Hopes you are doing good. I'm also fine back again. So much good. And please, as we start this video, please, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Consider doing so. It will, it will help me so much, and I will appreciate so much if you are subscribed and you are coming back. Welcome back, and I love you so much. Please continue sharing it, continue watching, give it a like, comment, and I will really appreciate all this. So, welcome, welcome back, sit down, let's talk, let's talk more about these relationship matters. I know this is something that has affected so many people. So many people have lost their life because of a relationship and before we reach there, before someone gets there, please try to consider some things, get to know that your life is much important, get to know that you have a life ahead of you, you have so many things ahead of you to do more than just to stay in one place. A time comes, you die and you lose your life. It's not the best thing just because of a relationship. Yet there are so many people out there who need you, who need your love, who will always be there for you. So welcome, welcome, welcome back. Let's do this together. So guys, let's do this. Yesterday I did a video on how to move on from someone you love. And you move on and you just feel okay you give your life to the best and today I want us to talk why silence will make those people regret losing you and they will want to come back to your life yet you have already moved on with your life so one thing that will silence just being quiet will make these people regret and wonder why you are not talking to them one thing is to ignore the moment you just ignore your partner, you the moment you just ignore the person you broke up with, the person you went ways apart from, this person will always have that that ka ego inside and will always be asking, why is this person not talking to me? You are not doing the you don't call, you don't message, you don't follow up on them. These people will always think that the silence means that you have someone else someone else you are with. That's why you don't talk to them. Or if they send a message, you just read the message and you just move on. You, just, you don't reply. Or the moment they send you a message, you just block the person and you assume nothing happened. Or he just sends the message or he comes onto your Facebook. You just like your picture or comment and you're just like, hey, damn, you continue doing that. I'm way, way back that. So the moment you do this, you just ignore this person. This person will just be feeling that that thing inside him or inside her and will be like, why is this girl or why is this boy not doing this? What he's expecting you to do and you're not doing it. Is it okay? Just ignore and be okay. The second thing, these people will always be waiting. If you have broken up with someone, you parted ways, maybe this relationship had gone very well and at a time it reached a time you broke up and someone went on his ways. This part, the other person, if it's the hubby or the wife, these people will always be waiting for the person to come and beg. You see, this if you are the girl, you will always wait for your boy to come and beg you and start telling you, I'm sorry, why we broke up because of this. I'll try to improve everything. Let's get back. Things will be much better. But if you don't do that, if the other partner doesn't come to beg, and maybe you are there waiting for someone to come and beg you, maybe bring for you flowers or send you messages to apologize and the other partner wants things to go back to normal and you are just there saying no. You see, if you don't beg, these people will always be like, you know there is always that ego in a man, maybe mostly in man, in men, who are like, because you broke up, he expects the ready to cool and to go and beg for, uh, for to go and beg and make things okay. Those, that is maybe the mentality in most of in most of the Kenyans men, I can say. 
you broke up maybe even you are the one who he is the one who had a mistake but he will always expect a red to beg for them to go back together you see and at time it will reach that you don't have that time you are tired and you don't have that time to beg so the moment you don't go and beg as you used to maybe you had parted some ways not the little breakup but you had given your time some break a time ago and you always went ahead the first one to say i'm sorry let's get things done let's come and talk and this time he just realized hey hell the lady is not doing that this person will always be like what, what happened what is not going on this person i think he's seen someone else this is always the thing that will always ring in their mind that you are having someone else that's why you don't beg and most of the time maybe when you don't have someone in your life you just want to be on yourself be cold have time for yourself and make your things good try to overcome the pressure around you try to try to lower your anger and you just feel you just want to have that time on yourself not you don't have that time to go and start begging for forgiveness you just need to have that time for you you see the other thing it's no content you don't contact these people at all at all at all hell don't dare take your phone to call them let the silence remain no matter what no matter what you go through no matter you feel you know when you break up with someone and maybe this someone that you loved so much someone you had so much with and you just break up with this person you'll always feel that that thing that will always push you to just make a call just check on them how are they doing are they fine you see even if you just feel at the back of your mind you are just like, but he did this and this so why should i call then something else will always tell you just try to call them try to convince but if you feel like i'm done whatever he did or whatever she did was up to my head i tried to don't call them you see this will bring it will plant a seed on the other partner that this person is serious we broke up and he took the breakup seriously and he is ready to move on you see and with that you will also give the other partner time to just cool get pick his things uh, and yani pick his mind and put them together and try to figure out was it this, was it necessary for the breakup but maybe at a time the time he is thinking that you have already healed and you have already moved on with your life so silence is always something that will always make you move on very fast and it will always make you heal because if you don't contact this person if you don't have a group if you don't have mutual friends you don't go to hang out the place you used to do you are not doing things that you you are doing things that are making you happy but not the things that you used to do together you see you try to avoid all those things that will bring you back the memories if it's possible just delete alas everything that you have for the person in your phone that will always bring this back the memories and try to get fresh things try to get new friends try to hang out and when you hang out with with your friends this person will always see like eh it's true this person have already decided if the person the time you are in that moment of silent you don't want to talk with the person then you just feel you are okay try to hang out with new people new people try to find new friends let this person even if uh, if even if at any point someone will leave a message to him and tell him hey i saw i saw this i saw i saw her with this with this and this they were doing this and this that point at that point he'll feel like hey he have just moved on with his life or you have just moved on with your life that is the best thing to do when you want to when you want this person to feel like it's not that you want him to feel bad you see you just want to make this person know how serious you are with the breakup and how much you want to move on with their life and by doing this thing by silence and doing all these stuff the person will start 
he'll have that thing of missing you back and he'll try to come back and tell you i'm sorry i'm doing i will things will be, get better but always know this person will always know that you are serious with what you are doing and you don't feel like going back to that relationship and with that little we just i'll just be sure. these are these are some of the things maybe for myself i've gone through um it's I've, now i think i'm totally healed i've already healed completely because some months back i could not talk anything about relationship and now i'm almost celebrating one year anniversary with someone i love so much someone who is who means everything to me and now i feel now i have healed from my past relationship that maybe took took and it turned me down so much you see you can be in a relationship that you yourself you never think that it will ever end but at a point you just feel like mm, i just want it to end up you see and when you end things and you get to another relationship it's always very hard to talk about maybe your past because this thing until you get totally healed and you know if you're in a new relationship you don't want to just bring your past into the new relationship until maybe you get to know this person you get to spend time with them and you feel you are comfortable with them that's when now you talk about your past life for me silence is very good it really helped me so if you're out there you are facing a heartbreak you are going through hell and you just feel that you need a moment of yourself try to do silence try to silence that try to avoid contacting the person try to avoid just ignore them try to avoid trying to beg them begging them will make you look stupid you see that you are there just even if you go back to this person and you had you you are the one who initiated this thing of please i'm sorry things he'll always see you that you are nothing unless you people you have you have come to a point that you have all healed you have you you got your own time the other person got to, if it's true love true love will always come around you see true love will never die that is one thing i believe but if you never took time the first week you you broke up you are just there crying trying to beg this person oh let's sort our things out let's get back you have not healed and the other person is still having the anger he has not healed so at the end of the day you'll find yourself stupid looking stupid in that relationship you see try to have time try to stop talking to the person try to have your own time let the other person have his or her own time and at the end of the day if this thing was meant to be you people will always come close to one another in in a way that we not expect things will go back as usual is it is it okay so for the meantime that's it for today please consider subscribing consider liking the video consider sharing to your friends this really means a lot to me and i'll appreciate for the far we are going I thank God for this and let's do this. Please, please, please. I beg you, please consider subscribing. I have seen most of the people who are watching my videos are those people who have not subscribed. So please try to subscribe. Try to be among the family. Let's grow together. Don't don't mind the number we are, but with time, everything as step at a time a step by at a time you considering sharing it with a friend you considering subscribing it's what will make us grow so for the meantime from me to you our next piece if you are out there you are going through a heartbreak feel that hug i've given you feel that and just know things will get better when you just initiate silence try to show hey i'm that damn girl or oh, you are that damn boy there so for the meantime bye bye bye